everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today is the second in a series of tutorials on how I made this fabric book. So let me get that out of the way and we'll jump right into it. The last video we did was we constructed the cover and we did two of the pages on the inside. And after I stopped the video, what I did was I sewed all the way around all of the edges on the three that are done uh, with a zigzag stitch. So that is where we're at. We've got a couple more to do today. And I also wanted to mention, um, what, do, what do you do if you don't have a sewing machine? Well, you can easily do this without a sewing machine. You're just going to have to make sure that the fabric fusion or the fabric tack or, you know, whatever glue adhesive you're using is pretty secure. And I've had really good luck with both of those. So it's no problem at all if you don't have a sewing machine. So let's get right into it. Now we're still making the uh, pages for our book. And let me get out my uh, never-ending supply of hankies here. So, remember this is going to be one of our pages. And I am going to decide what I'm going to work with today. I found another one in my stash. This one cracks me up. This is like a placemat. And then it had a uh, napkin that's stuck in here. And I thought, I'm going to use that, but I'm not going to use it in the regular way, like stick the napkin in there. No, I'll stick like a tag in there or uh, a different uh, hanky or something along those lines. So let's go with this. All right. So here we are again, figuring out our sizes. Let me get these other guys out of the way. Now that... I want this to be on a full page because I think that is just beautiful. So let's think about this for a minute. Flip that over again. Now remember we have to figure out what's going to be on the other side here. Now I do like that edge right there. I think that that's really pretty. And this edge is not the same um, width coming in but you know what I don't know that might work let's flip it over here because you want I want this kind of in the center so it doesn't look like it's too uh, too off off kilter when it's uh, folded in half like this so I think we're just gonna have to go with it okay so that's gonna be on one side let me make sure it's kind of in the center I'm going to leave a little bit of edge over here to uh, fold it over. And if you remember what we did yesterday, this is going to be the other side. And I'm thinking of what to use on this side. And I have something that might be pretty. This right here is a piece of fabric. It was a uh, pillow cover or a pillow sham, I guess, if you want to call it that. And let's see, it looks like it is pretty close to being the right size. So let's go with it. Cut this baby up. Don't think too much, remember. So I'm just going to cut this out and glue it down. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today here in Colorado, it is really, really hot. Yeesh. And I live up in the mountains, so it's not quite as hot as in uh, down in Denver, but man, I don't know if you guys are dealing with some heat where you're at, but it is something. So let's see. Let's figure this out here. No, 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 no. Let's gonna fold this over. Now what I'm thinking here is we're going to glue this down and come all the way to the edge and what I'm going to do on this side is when that's folded over I might make that a little pocket but 
I don't like that this is this is uh, just showing the uh, you know the batting the background. So might have to cut some more of this guy out, which I think will be okay. I love looking for stuff and using it for other than its original application. I gotta admit, not only shopping my closet, I shop my accessories in my house. <laughs> I, I cut up, I'm looking around for pillows that I, you know, can do without because I tend to have a lot of decorator pillows. And my husband and daughter are like, really, mom? You know, you've got like four or five on the table. I mean, not on the table, on the, on the couch. Do we really need all those? Yeah, probably not, but I like them. So anyways, I'm shopping my house too for fabric. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go glue all the way around again. Let's see, I'm gonna push this side down first. And one thing I did want to mention in this video that I did not in the last video is I'm going to start thinking about pockets. And if you want to add any pockets to your pages before they're sewn into the cover. And we're going to go over that today. It um, is really a personal preference. Sometimes I do like to sew mine in. It makes them more secure. But if you find out later after everything is put together and sewn in your uh, cover, you can always use your fabric fusion and glue on some more. But anyways, we're going to talk about that today. All right. I don't know. Let me see. I just want it along the edge so that you don't see that plain uh, piece of backing there. Oh, there goes the glob. The glob. The dreaded glob, eek. Ugh. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Wipe that off. I have an apron on today because I am a very messy crafter. And I have dedicated craft clothes. But sometimes, yeah, I get too excited and then I don't change into my craft clothes. So I got to make sure I have an apron on. Okay. All right. Let's cut off the extra here. I'm going to save this, of course. And one thing that works really well for me, I don't know if you guys do this, uh, probably, it's not like I thought it up, but <laughs> is all my scraps from my current project I put in this little container. So you can see this is all the stuff we used yesterday. And that is going to be where I get all of my snippets and my clusters and all that kind of stuff. So I keep that on the side and then I'll empty it after, you know, a particular project is done. So we're going to fold this over again. Doing pretty good here today, staying in frame. Still haven't installed that buzzer. <laughs> Fold that up. And like I said, this is going to be sewn down so it doesn't have to be really, really secure. Just so that it holds until we get it to the sewing machine. Now this is kind of thick, so i got to hold it for a second. Okay. Now you can see a little bit. See, oh, see, there it goes. I'm gonna get a little clip. I'll show this corner who's boss here. All right, there. Okay, you see, like what I was saying, um, this is a thin fabric here and you can see right along the edge, the glue glob, but we're gonna cover it up, so that's okay. Now what I'm thinking on this corner is I'm wondering if it's too thick. Because this puppy is thick because it's got an extra um, layer. So I am going to cut it off. And I'm not exact about this kind of stuff. I don't go all the way to the edge. 
or to the corner right there, I leave a little bit on the edge there so it doesn't, uh, you know, show the bottom through. So let me glue this down. It's kind of like wrapping a present. <laughs> One of my first jobs, I worked at a department store and they threw me in the wrapping paper section where you wrap people's um, uh, purchases. I had to wrap a TV. Really? I think they were kind of doing it to me as a joke. But anyways, that was one of my first jobs. So I learned how to wrap really well. Gone are those days, right? Jeez. I was called a floater. Do you guys remember that? I don't know if any of you guys ever worked in retail. Now see that corner? It looks nice like that. Looks like a package. All right. Anyways, I was called a floater. So I went from any, this is not flat. I'm going to straighten that puppy out. I went to any department that they needed me, basically. Yeah, and the first one was wrapping. Oh, yay. Let's wrap a TV. Oh, great. Okay, now I'm gonna leave this all on here. So I'm gonna flip the whole thing up. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my corner there. Now that, let's think about this here for a minute. If I cut just this little end off, you know, just this extra thick part, We'll see. And if not, you can always fix your mistakes. Or they're not even mistakes, you know? They're opportunities for, I don't know, embellishments. <laughs> opportunities for putting on embellishments. All right, I see what I'm going to do. Watch this. Fold this up. And go around the edge again. But what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this raw edge under, huh, smarter than the fabric, yes siree, fold that up, make it straight, looks fab, and then stick that down, ha, oh, yay, and then when it's sewed, it's going to look really good, just clip that baby on there. Now we're down to the last side here. I gotta figure out where my end is. Where is my end? There it is right there. I'm gonna cut this off. Doing pretty good, you guys. It's really getting toasty here. It's in the afternoon. I think I should do maybe my videos in the morning. I don't know. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing on this corner that we did on that corner. But since we have the long folded edge again, I'm going to cut this off, this thick part. And fold the raw edge underneath like we did before. Oops, I need to cut a little more off. Make it a straight line. I don't know what I'm doing on this edge yet, but we'll finish this one first while I think about it. Mm, it'll probably be the same thing. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to fold this edge in also. Okay, so a lot of higher brain power going on here. I'm trying to see what the best way to do that is. No, I think I'm going to have to cut it off just like I did the other one. So if I fold it up, I just want to get rid of all this. Okay. Oops. Oh, there's the first camera bonk, you guys. Oh, wow. Sorry. I think I need to move where my camera is mounted, where my phone is. But it just, it seems to work well for me because I can see what I'm filming. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe just don't move my elbows out as much because that was, that was my elbow that did that. 
Okay, so we're going to fold this up on both sides. I'll get it figured out. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking real good. Except, wait a minute, don't like that. Got to come up a little higher. There you go. Because I knew I measured correctly. Okay. All right, now wait, I screwed up. I said I was going to make this a pocket, and then I glued it down. Rats. I'm trying to think. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll make another pocket somewhere else. No problem. <laughs> Tuck those little doodads under there. Get another clip here. Yeah, and by the time I sew this on my sewing machine, it's going to be really secure. Yes. All right. Cut a little bit extra off there. I'm just going to fold the rough edge under a teeny bit. See, there's my wrapping paper coming in here. My wrapping paper experience. Man, and when you got really good at wrapping, whew, you bust things out really quick. So after I got the hang of it, it was pretty fun. Okay, one more clip. Come on. All right, so there's the first one. So, see, when you fold it over and get all those little fuzzies out of here. Let's think about this here for a minute. See, unfortunately to me, and it's not unfortunate, I would rather have the flower on the other side, like that other one we did the other day. But this looks like a wonderful place to put a pocket, don't you think? Or something over the top, because it's... To me, too plain. So, let's do that. I am going to add some more color to this. What's on the other side? We're going with the yellows and the greens here. Hmm. Oh, some vintage doilies. And remember, I like to build from the ground up. So, I'm wondering if that would look pretty. Yeah, that would look nice. Folded um, a little bit on the other side there. And we can still use this as our little cute pocket holder thingy. And then I think what I'm going to do on this one, and I'll talk to you more about that later when we get into the decorating and the trim and the embellishing, is I'm going to sew some uh, uh, lace or trim around the edge here that goes along with this and so that I don't know if I'm going to sew or glue down yet oh I don't know I don't think so and here's my reasoning is because when I sew around the whole thing or I should say around the square I might sew this down the center which I think will secure the whole thing really nicely so that's what I'll do. So I will just clip that and move on. So the reason that we did five of these pages is because it's easier for me um, to, when we put the signatures together into the cover, you have one in the center. So meaning if this was my cover, one in the center and then you can do two on each side, or you could even do three on each side if you wanted a really thick book. If they were an even number of pages, 
there would be um, nothing right in the middle and then you'd have two here and two here and two here. Now, to me, it's easier because I don't like to think too much <laughs> and to find the middle, if you fold it over, it's right along the center and if you create one uh, signature and you put it right in the center, your others will be evenly evenly spaced from the center, if that makes sense. I'll show you that later again. Okay, now for another one. What are we going to use now? Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to turn on my fan, you guys. Hold on. It's really hot in here. And we don't have air conditioning. I hope that's not too loud for people. Um, we don't have air conditioning up in the mountains, but sheesh, 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 could use it today. Look at this pretty one. Ooh, hoo, hoo, wee. Whoa, it's making a weird noise. Now this one covers almost the whole thing, but I don't want every single um, page in my book to just have the same uh, folding over on one side where one side has a little bit and the other side has a lot. So I'm going to think of something different here. So maybe we could do a haver. So like half on one side, fold it over. Actually, if I can make it into a half. Get that in the center if you know what I'm saying here. There's the center, whoops. I like a little variety in my pages. Okay, so that's roughly the center. I think that would look cool. And then we can put another one on this side. So let me find another one. Oh, I just happen to have another one. Ha, imagine that. Look at this beauty. Okay, open up. What? Oh yeah. Now if we do half on this side, we're still gonna have that little bit in the middle that we'll have to cover, but I can handle that. Now look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so what goes underneath this so far as pattern-wise? I think I know. I have that stuff from yesterday, the lace tablecloth from my friend. And even though I use different hankies, I do like to use uh, some of the same uh, fabric in each of my uh, signatures, or I, I guess I'm gonna call each of these a signature, just because um, it kinda uh, is continuous through the journal. Now, if you look, this is really thin and you can see where the lace stops, so I'm gonna have to cover the whole side. So that means I need a big old piece, unless this is, this is gonna be big enough. Let's see. It might be, it might be. What the heck is wrong with that fan? And believe me, I did not cut this ahead of time, so. <laughs> That's just luck. Oh, it's not quite right. Rats. Rats, rats. Oh. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna get a big piece of this. Trust me, this tablecloth is huge. Okay, here we go. All right. Use that for later. That goes in my box. Look at this baby. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now I don't want to use this part right here. And the reason being is this is going to be more of a background piece. And I like this. And I like those uh, lace corners if it was going to be on the in the forefront so I'm just going to use a side where I already cut them off 
Where is that? Okay, here we go. All right, get my scissors out here. Remember, move these out of the way because I'd be one who would cut them. I'd be cutting them. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, I'm going to go along the side here. I'm just going to cut this up. And this is such a gorgeous color. Oh, wow. Okay, there's one side. Now I have to make sure it's long enough for the other side. Mm. Do -do -do -do. Okay, can always cut off the little bits for later. You know, I see a lot of tutorials out there and um, I'm thinking, oh, that's a really good idea. How to use up your fabric scraps. <laughs> you know, I, for me, I think it's impossible. But maybe somebody would want to do a lace swap with me or lace and ribbon or fabric. I think we've done that on the Junk Journal Junkies before. Oh, maybe I need to get going on that because I have got a lot. Or maybe just a giveaway. Yeah, maybe. Okay, there we go. Many, many more journals. Okay. <laughs> All right, now that looks really good. I'm just gonna tack that down. Da -da -da. Is it long enough? It better be. Okay, we'll start on this side. I'm still in frame, I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Da -da -da. And it is, it's long enough by like a millimeter. Eek! No, it is. Because that's going to be, um, if you remember, that's going to be the, uh, the handkerchief going over the side, so that's okay. All right. This stuff does not want to stay on this backing. Okay. Looks really good, you guys. Let's flip it over. Yep. Oh, I have so much fun doing this. And like I said, I never know how it's going to turn out. I've got kind of a, a general um, theme or idea, but you run into things and you're like, oh man, that didn't work out too well, or oh man, that looks really weird. But I always figure it out. And then some of those things you deem mistakes turn out to be really cool. All right, I'm gonna cut off the edge here just a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna save that. That's so small. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right, now on to these guys. Shake the fuzz off of here. Even I clean my uh, table every day, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Okay, I can tell where the middle is right here. Flip it over. I'm gonna match the sides and make sure it's on the edge. Now what I'm gonna do here, thinking again, is I'm letting the shape of the hanky dictate how I'm gonna put it on here. And I really like these edges. I don't wanna cut them off. So I'm thinking I'm wondering if I can, huh, this is thinking out loud here, you know, fold one over one way, one over the other way. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. So what I'm saying is I would have 
one side, I would cut along the edge here, have one side glued, and then this one glued down again, and then I would sew along the edge here. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, got it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little snip up to the end where my uh, backing starts. Let's see. I can feel it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. See, now did I know that? No. Okay, let's make sure it's up to the end here. You can see where I cut all the way up to the end. Okay, now fold this over, right, so that it's even. Oh, looking good. Oh, and look, you can kind of see the lace underneath. That looks cool. Oh, wow. Is this even? No. No, move it over a little bit. There we go. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna flip this end up like that. Looking good. I'm gonna glue that down. Hold on. Oh, yay. And even though you can tell that this is the back because it's not as vibrant, that's okay. Those little fuzzies off of there. This fan is really helping, so thanks for bearing with me if you can hear the fan. Whew. I do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna glue the bottom. Uh, glob. The fabric fusion must have a like a bigger hole at the top or something here. I'm gonna make that even. Oh, this looks so cute, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. I'm gonna do a little bit here, a little bit here. Did I do this one yet? No. Just do a little bit because what I'm doing here is I'm gonna make. <clears throat> these pockets on each side and then on this. So I'm going to keep that like that. That looks fabulous. And then this, I'm going to cut off this little bit of extra here once I glue the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Flip it up. sure it goes right to the edge. Oh, nice. And once you go around this with a zigzag stitch, you won't even see this. You won't even see that this is, uh, you know, folded. It'll look like it came that way. <laughs> okay, that looks really good this side here. All right. Do you guys ever have a, a piece of fabric or a pattern or a color that you just use all the time? Yeah, that's what this is. I use it all the time. Another one of my favorite patterns and colors is the um, Twall, love, absolutely love twall. And then another one is the uh, black and white Harlequin uh, checker. That's a really cool one too. I use that in my steampunk. Oh wow, that's really fun. Okay, now see how cool that looks? Let's just cut off this extra here. And you can do more fussy cutting later. Yeah, because these are a little bit, these are a little bit too big. 
Let me get my other ones. Ugh. Not my precision fussy cuts, but my regulars. Sort of. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, see, that looks good. So there's one side, and then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the same pocket sort of situation, but it is the same size napkin, or excuse me, why do I call these napkins? Well, they kinda of are, they're handkerchiefs, they could be napkins, I don't know. Um, I might, why not, right? Why not? Unless that looks too matchy-matchy. Uh, I don't know. Let me see about this. Maybe it's not that matchy-matchy because um, it's a different pattern altogether, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just do one side. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I am, let me see, when I fold this over, and if I leave these uh, edges out, is that gonna be too big for my book? Where's my book? Let me get it over here. Because I, sometimes I do like stuff sticking out of the, you know, top and the bottom. How does that look? So if I was to do that, yeah, it's not going to like stick way out so it looks weird, but out far enough. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, I'm just going to glue it down. Make sure it's kind of even again. Now this is a really, really thin um, handkerchief, so I got to be really careful on the globs of the fabric fusion here. Okay. Bring, let's see. What am I going to do here? I'm going to go along the bottom again. Little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. See? Oh, look. See? You could still see it. Dang it. Oh. Poopy. Well, you know what that's going to lead to? Whoops, my scissors dropped. It's going to lead to some trim on there. <laughs> okay. But that's all right. And then when I sew this, I think what I'm going to do is um, kind of uh, scrunch it so that it... Um, you know, has a little bit of texture, it's just not lying flat. But I can do that um, at the end when I sew around my whole edge here. So, if we look at it, this guy needs a little bit right there. And like I said, this is not secure, like I'm not just going to put it in my journal like that but there is another page and this is just the base we're going to be adding pockets to them we're going to be adding trim and embellishments so we're just building our bases so i think let's see how many do i have here i think we have just one more to do where is it here we go or maybe two let me see how many do i have we made two yesterday, and just one today? No, we did two. Where's the other one? What the heck? And I thought I was so organized. Where did it go? Oh, well. 
I'll keep looking around. Oh yeah, here it is. Ha! This one. I forgot. Okay, so we've done two today, two yesterday. So yes, we are on our last one. Yippee! Because once we get the bases going and they're sewn around, then the fun starts it with the ribbon and the lace and the pockets and all the little adornments. And that's that's really fun. Not that this isn't fun, but I look forward to the other part too. Okay, so I've got a couple more napkins here. Why do I call them napkins? Hankies. This one is really pretty also. Or should I save this to put on the top and do this? Now this would cover the whole thing. Wouldn't even have to worry about, you know, any of the uh, edges showing or anything. Let's see. So if I was to do that, wow. That is something. Now this is a, <laughs> this is a bold statement. Let's see. Hmm. If I was to do this on the back, I would want something more neutral over the top. So I'm thinking this is a beet dyed uh, hanky that looks really pretty. But I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling this. <laughs> but never despair. I will use it someday. All right. Ooh, look at this. Something sparkly. Another thing I got at the thrift store. Okay, I like this. Does it go with this? Mm, I don't know. No. How about this? No. All right. Sorry. Sorry, top. I think I got it here, guys. What would it look like if I brought this little piece of lace? I've got that again. Do another diagonal? Hmm. And then maybe... No, that covers up too much of the cuteness. Too much cuteness going on there. How about if I do that? Do kind of on the side there. And then this on this side. That looks pretty good. We need something on the back, but that's where this comes in. It's not quite the right size though. Dang it. Wait, maybe it is. Yes, it is. Luck is on my side here, ladies. He okay. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right, and you might be wondering, well, Pam, what are you going to do on the other side? Ah, yes, I have another piece of fabric that was part of this. It was a skirt. And I think that would look really pretty on the other side. So we have to think bottom up. So this is out of here. We're building our base layers. So this is going to be one side, the back side or whatever. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to glue that on. That looks really, really pretty. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Time for the glue again. cut that elastic off at the top. Need that. Just 
it along the bottom here. Oops, now my head is hitting the camera. Oh my goodness, the heck. What was I saying? This was on the other side, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this over the side. Oh, wait, it went like this, right? Yep. All right, so I gotta cut that off. As well cut while I'm cutting cut this uh, elastic off here in the fabric box. Cut this side off. So what we're going to do in the next uh, tutorial here is um, after we've got all our pages or signatures if you want to call them sewn around the edges we're going to attach them to our cover but not before we add you know any other embellishments and pockets and uh, trim to them to me it's easier than after they're sewn in the uh, cover that's just how I like to do it but you know there's there's uh, other ways to do it also because sometimes I say, oh man, a pocket would look really cool right there. Hmm. All right, so that's what I said was gonna be there, right? And then I said this was gonna go along there. Oh, I need to move it over a little bit. Oh no. Okay. Might have to have something else going here unless I can get it right to the edge here. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So this is right on the edge, the corner there. So what I'm trying to do is cover up all the white. I think, I think I can make it barely. I'm going to glue this down. And for um, this journal, since I have the, the red theme going on, I used red thread. It just kind of makes everything coordinated. You could do a contrasting color also. That would be cool. Like I thought about doing um, green because there's some green accents in a lot of these uh, these handkerchiefs, but I decided on red. Okay, so there's that. Cut this off. This this is a really pretty pretty color of pink. It's kind of like a blush pink. Okay, there's that. Now, got a figure this out so that it goes covers the edge barely and got to make sure it's in the middle because I want this point in the middle or as much as I can get it in the middle oh, oh wow we're so close 
and then remember see how this is uh, really thin again this was going over the top so that you can't even see that <laughs> Yay, 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 yay. Okay, glue this down. So that it covers the edge right there. It's gonna cover the edge over here on this side. Oops. Pulled it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make sure it's flat. Oh, that looks fabulous. Oh, wow. Yay. Now, I'm wondering, what do you think? <laughs> what about doing that and then doing this? I don't know. Does that look weird? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just glue it down. This I'm going to want to glue pretty securely because it's going to be on there for good. It's not going to be, I don't think I'm going to be sewing around it again. Although I could, I don't know. And then this guy is going to go on the top. Which side's the front? Can you guys usually tell? I think this is the back because you can see maybe some more of the... Um, stitching where it was knotted and stuff. All right, that looks really good. Oh, yay. This is very similar to the um, avocado dye. If you guys have tried that, uh, dyeing with the pits and the skins. Now, my question is, who thought that up? I want to know because not only is it ingenious, it works so well, but I don't see how anyone would think that up unless they did it by accident. And they said, oh, wow, look how cool this is, right? I don't know. Pretty clever people out there. Jeez. Okay, and then flip this puppy over. So we got a blank page on this side, and I think that'll work well for a uh, pocket or something. I'm gonna glue along the edge here. over here and they look un it's weird they look unfinished until you sew around the edge and then they just come to life they're like oh look at this now this is not exactly even oh no oh no but I'll figure it out see because that is not the same as that but what that leads me to think is I'm going to have to put a piece of ribbon right along there. And then you'll never know, right? Right. And it'll be a cool design. Or maybe I'll put a pocket over the whole thing. I don't know. I don't really know. That's okay. Just make sure that this is tight on here. I think that's pretty secure and there's a little corner that's sticking out but I will definitely fix that all right so there we are oops get this going get this side going here come on believe me this is not near done but it's looking cool. 
All right. So let's look at what we did today. Yay! So we did this one. And I'm going to go sew around all the edges with um, my zigzag stitch. There's that one. And then this one, we can take these guys off. I'm sure they're pretty secure. Hold on. Which way is up? There we go. So this is another. Uh, we got some pockets there. I'm going to sew around the edge of this. And this is going to be... Um, along the outside, or I should say on this side, I'm going to sew along the edge again, and I am going to add some sort of uh, ribbon or trim to that. And there's that one. And then where's the last one? Here it is. This guy. This guy here. Again, I'm going to sew around the edges. And then I'm going to crunch this kind of, you know, to give it a smoosh effect on that side. So we've got three more signatures done today. Yay! All right. Next installment, you guys, we are going to be putting this beauty together and adding the embellishments and the trim and sewing it into the cover. So I will see you soon. Bye-bye.